Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can transfer a stabilized version of a 360 VR shot to a downstream 3D application, even if that application isn't fully VR capable. So we're going to start with an already stabilized scene. This is from the big 14-part VR tutorial. And you'll notice that it's already been world stabilized. You can tell that since the sun is always in a fixed location in the sky. And if you watch the camera up here, you'll see it's always looking due north and not rotating at all. But the camera is moving along the path through to the 3D environment. So what we're going to do is create a viewing sphere using a script, which is create spherical screen. And it has two main options. One for uh, applying later on the stabilized image as, as the texture. And the other one is for applying the original unstabilized footage. And that's the one that we're going to use here. So when we do that, you see that there's a sphere that's created. And we need to wait for the. Uh, timeline to refresh a little bit. It's uh, reloading the imagery. So you'll see that that sphere moves along with the camera itself. And if you look carefully, you'll see that the sphere is actually being animated. It's been animated to generate the motion of the stabilizer. So it's wiggling to accomplish the stabilization that's normally done by the image preprocessor. And that is what we're going to re, you know, rely on in the downstream application to do the stabilization. The motion and the animation on the sphere is what's actually going to do the stabilization effectively. So with that sphere in hand, we are ready to go and export. And as an example here, I'm going to use Fusion. And here you see Fusion 7 comp, but actually we're going to be using Fusion 8 as it turns out. I think you could use either one. The, the scripts all tend to work across different versions. So I've just done the export. So now let's hop over to Fusion and open the scene up there. And here's the configuration that's been generated from Synthize. And really, we're relying on what, what's you know a normal 3D export from Synthize, uh, not really a VR specific one. So we're going to do a bit of adjustment to this scene to make it do what we want. So to start out with, we're going to add a texture. And that texture is going to get connected to the sphere. So this is the actual sphere that's been converted to a film box FBX file and exported from Synthize. And we're going to take it and connect it to the actual original shot. So this is just a loader of the original footage. So it's getting used as a texture to the sphere. And the sphere has been animated to hop, skip, and jump around to do the stabilization. So we're going to just disconnect some of the lens distortion stuff that we got that we don't need so that we just want to look at the final rendered image. I'm just going to hit 2 and put this up there and hit 1 here so we can look around in the 3D environment. So I can use alt middle to look around here in the 3D environment and you see sitting up there somewhere here's our sphere 
you can see uh, this faint green camera path. So if I scrub through the shot, here's the sphere and the camera moving along that path within the fusion environment. And again, it is rotating to do the stabilization so that when we look at the output of this render, you know, you're seeing the stabilized version. So I'm just going to drop that so you can see the original footage. So now we're running through and you know, here you can see the original footage moving around and here's the you know, due north view. This is the 80 degree field of view from Synthize just looking straight ahead and you're seeing the stabilized version. If we look through the shot, I think the, we need to do a fit on this. So the part that we're looking at is actually over here. And you see that's all bouncing around, but we're getting the stabilized version, and this is all being accomplished by that sphere being jumped around to all the right locations to make this happen. So if we want to add things into the environment now, let's go back to our 3D environment. So now you know you can put additional objects into this 3D environment. Here you see the different locators from Synthize that are the locations of the things that it's found in the environment. So we can go and add additional 3D objects into the scene and have them rendered within the, the fusion environment. And you'll have the right backdrop image to, to use because it's, it's coming from that sphere. So the, the one drawback at the moment is that Fusion doesn't have a built-in 360 VR camera at this moment, so you need to use uh, perhaps a third-party solution to do that. I think uh, Dome Master from Andrew Hazelden has uh, a 360 VR camera, if I understand correctly. And probably Fusion will at some point in the future as well. So, you know, here you're seeing a general approach of being able to create the sphere and synthize and have it be animated so that you can then export it. And, and this approach works with any application downstream, not just with Fusion. The, the creation of that sphere you know, doesn't have anything to do with Fusion at all. So you could go into other applications the same way. So just for comparison as well, you know, if we had wanted to, we could have used that option originally in Synthize when we were creating the sphere to apply the stabilized footage. So if we had chosen that, then down here in Fusion, the sphere wouldn't have been animated in orientation at all. It would have been just station, you know, it, it would have been non-rotating, constant orientation. And to accommodate that, we would have had to use the save sequence out of Synthize to write out the, the actual final stabilized version of the shot. And we would have used that stabilized version of the shot in Fusion to feed in to that sphere. So, you know, that, that adds basically another resampling stage in Synthize that you can avoid by what I showed you here, by outputting this slightly complicated sphere that jumps around and, and working with the original footage. You avoid a resampling stage within Fusion and Synthize. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of, of how you can transport some of the 360 VR information around and be able to do some compositing sorts of effects. Thanks for watching.